Recently, an enormous dark hole has opened up in the sun's surface and is spewing powerful streams of unusually fast radiation known as solar wind right at Earth. The size and orientation of this gap is wider than 60 Earths, which is unprecedented at this stage of the solar cycle. The giant dark patch on the sun, known as a coronal hole, took shape near the sun's equator on December 2nd and reached its maximum width of around 497,000 miles, 800,000 kilometers, within 24 hours. Since December 4th, the solar void has been pointing directly at Earth. Experts initially predicted this most recent hole could spark a geomagnetic storm, which could trigger radio blackouts and strong auroral displays for the next few days. However, this time we were just lucky. The solar wind has been less intense than expected, so the result we get is that auroras are still possible at high latitudes. It is unclear how long the hole will remain in the sun, but previous coronal holes have lasted for more than a single solar rotation, 27 days in the past. However, the hole will soon rotate away from Earth. Coronal holes occur when the magnetic fields that hold the sun in place suddenly open up, causing the contents of the sun's upper surface to stream away in the form of solar wind, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, as known as NOAA. Coronal holes appear as dark patches because they are cooler and less dense than the surrounding plasma. This is similar to why sunspots appear to be black. But unlike sunspots, coronal holes are not visible unless they are viewed in ultraviolet light. The radiation streams from coronal holes are much faster than normal solar wind and often trigger disturbances in Earth's magnetic shield, known as geomagnetic storms. The last coronal hole to appear on the Sun, which emerged in March, spat out the most powerful geomagnetic storm to hit Earth in more than six years. The geomagnetic storm peaked as a severe G4 on the five-grade scale used by NOAA to assess the severity of space weather events. The storm's unexpected ferocity not only made auroras visible as far south as New Mexico in the US, but it also forced spaceflight company Rocket Lab to delay a launch by 90 minutes. Strong geomagnetic storms can be troublesome for spaceflight as they increase the density of gases in Earth's upper atmosphere, thereby increasing the drag on satellites and other spacecraft. In February 2022, SpaceX lost up to 40 brand new Starlink satellites when they failed to reach orbit after being launched into a minor geomagnetic storm. We can expect more extreme space weather events like this powerful geomagnetic storm as the sun builds towards a peak in its 11-year solar activity cycle. History has witnessed the destructive power of such events on at least two occasions in the past, leaving us pondering the implications of the approaching peak of solar activity in 2025. Now our sun is once again nearing its maximum activity and the likelihood of another powerful blast of plasma is increasing. Back in history, on September 2, 1859, British astronomer Richard Carrington observed a giant solar flare. Just 18 hours later, our planet was struck by one of the most formidable geomagnetic storms ever recorded. Telegraphs across Europe and North America stopped working and many telegraph poles caught fire. People could see the northern lights almost all over the planet. Although humanity recuperated relatively swiftly from this calamity, our civilization wasn't as dependent on electricity as it is now. The impact of another major solar storm in March 1989, though less potent, plunged the entire Canadian province of Quebec into darkness, leaving millions without electricity for a staggering 12 hours. Now, the prospect of a solar outburst of Carrington event magnitude looms ominously, heralding potential catastrophe. Historically, scientists believed such solar storms were rare, occurring once in a century. However, 
groundbreaking research by the University of Warwick and the British Antarctic Survey unveiled a startling revelation. Powerful magnetic storms are more frequent than previously thought. The sun's activity follows an approximately 11-year cycle, reaching a zenith of violent outbursts where charged particles relentlessly target our planet. Thorough analysis of Earth's magnetic field changes confirm that the most formidable burst of geomagnetic activity correspond to the sun's most potent explosions. During their investigation, the scientific team identified two types of dangerous events for Earth. First, there are strong magnetic superstorms, which happen about every three years. These storms can affect individuals sensitive to weather changes, but generally don't cause significant disruptions to technology. The second type is the rarest and most destructive, the mega-strong storms, which occur even less frequently. Throughout the span of over 150 years, only six such events have been recorded. This suggests that these tumultuous cosmic events occur approximately every 25 years, with no megastorms transpiring in the past two decades. However, scientists anticipate that the next colossal outburst is looming on the horizon. In 2012, a massive and potentially perilous solar eruption did occur, albeit with the solar wind veering in the opposite direction, barely grazing our planet's surface. As we await the advent of the next monumental solar flare, our fortune may not hold as firmly. The exact consequences in such a scenario cannot yet be predicted, but one thing is certain. The skies will light up with stunning auroras around the world. There's also a possibility that among these auroras, a special kind called a Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement, or STEVE, may appear. These enchanting auroras, glowing purple or white ribbons, were observed during the August 2022 geomagnetic storm, even as far south as Pennsylvania. Scientists still don't fully understand this optical phenomenon, but it frequently occurs during solar storms. However, Steve is not merely a celestial light show. Scientists have valid concerns that this radiant spectacle could be accompanied by a catastrophic megastorm, which could unleash havoc upon our technological infrastructure. Imagine electronic and aviation equipment faltering, communications breaking down, power grids in chaos, and satellites struggling to maintain their orbit. The destructive effects might even reach the depths of the ocean, endangering underwater communication cables and causing a prolonged internet blackout. The potential financial toll of such an event is staggering, with estimates reaching billions, if not trillions of dollars. If solar winds of this power hit our planet in 2012, some countries probably wouldn't have fully recovered up to this date. Still, the absence of technological immunities pales in comparison to the myriad of other catastrophic effects that solar storms can trigger, like droughts, floods, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Notably, periods of heightened and fluctuating solar activity correlate with a surge in the frequency of seismic activity. The devastating magnitude 9.1 earthquake that ravaged Indonesia in 2004, unleashing a massive tsunami and leaving a trail of destruction in its wake, serves as a haunting testament to the potential perils entwined with solar storms. The consequences were also felt by nations such as India, Thailand, Bangladesh, the Maldives Islands, Sri Lanka, and Somalia, resulting in a tragic loss of over 283,000 lives, with thousands missing and over a million rendered homeless. Now, as the sun approaches its peak activity in the 11-year cycle, our vigilance becomes even more crucial. Yet, even after stormy activity subsides in 2025, can we truly heave a sigh of relief?